The San Francisco 49ers quarterback knelt during the national anthem at the Niners LA Rams game on Monday night. Teammate Eric Reed joined him and players on both teams raised fists in solidarity. Well, there was no protest to be found before Monday night's first game. Members of the Steelers and the Redskins helped hold the American flag during the national anthem. This was at FedEx Field in Maryland. They joined members of the U.S. military. Um, my name is Alex Olson. I am a student here at NWTC in the digital media program. My thoughts on players kneeling uh, for the national anthem at the football games is that uh, it's good for them to find a good way. In my opinion, that's the best possible way in that forum of being a player at a football game to protest. It makes perfect sense to kneel down during the national anthem. Um, and then, of course, you know, I believe Colin Kaepernick was the first one to do it. He explained why he did it right after that game, which is also extremely important, you know, because people would love to say he did it for this reason, did it for that reason. So to hear it right from him right away is extremely important. Uh, with that said, um, when I did hear his reasoning and I um, found out why he's doing it, I don't really agree with it based on the statistics I've looked up. It just seems kind of like a bunk argument. So it feels more like just kind of a cry for attention and like kind of a victimization rather than an actual issue that needs to be addressed. Not saying police brutality, which I believe is the issue, wasn't, isn't you know, a bad thing. I just don't think it's as widespread as it's made out to be where we need this awareness. Boy, I think if Aaron Rodgers were to kneel, being, uh, he plays for the Packers, and then of course, kind of the, knowing the demographic of Packer fans, I think it would uh, cause a storm, so to speak. Um, there'd just be a lot of opinions would come out of the woodwork more because it would offend a lot of people. Regardless of why he does it, I think that just because of the nature of why fans and more, some teams fans more than others think that the national anthem is sung before the games, you know, they won't, they don't, they won't want to hear it. Um, so if Aaron, someone like Aaron Rodgers did that, or like Tom Brady, another real like kind of patriotic nationalistic team, um, I think you'd see a lot of problems. Uh, just, you know, with whether it be fans boycotting the team or stuff you would never think possible with how popular football is, I think you might actually, just because some of those fans, you know, might not understand and, uh, but also refuse to understand. When Kaepernick first did it, he was playing for the 49ers, and obviously they're in, Ca you know, California, it's real liberal out there, and, you know, they're more accepting of anything like that, you know. So it makes sense that, you know, it's a good place for that to start, I guess, as opposed to starting like somewhere like Green Bay. Do I think change will come from the protests? Yes, I do, but maybe not the exact type of change that you would think would happen. So like if, if we have an issue, you speak out about the issue, the issue goes away. I don't think that's what we're gonna see here, mainly because uh, a lot of people don't recognize it, the issue as being as important as it is in relation to some other things that happen. Um, with that said, the whole reason the national anthem, from what I understand, is played at the NFL games is because the U.S. military approached the NFL with kind of an advertising contract just to, you know, help recruit and it's kind of like manufacturing nationalism, um, which, you know, that's a topic in, in itself to talk about. But um, the fact that they did that and then the fact that um, the players use that, the national anthem time, as a forum to protest, um, morals aside, might jeopardize the integrity of the advertising. Um, and what I'm getting at here is I think that what we're going to see is the U.S. military will end up pulling the contract from the NFL, which will result in there not being a national anthem played. It's caused a, uh, an uproar, obviously, and all that, and I think it's just, it's kind of like bad publicity for the advertiser, advertiser being the U.S. military. So I think they'll just end up stopping playing it, which might cause uh, debates in, a, in itself, you know, because then they can't kneel for it because it's not aired or not played. So we'll see, but I think that's what the change we will see is they just won't do it anymore.